All right, All right I want to welcome everyone to the family tree. Give yourselves a hand for just yeah, stopping yeah, in yeah, this yeah, evening. Yeah, 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 Hope everybody's doing well and everyone is doing, you know, getting ready for that Thanksgiving dinner. I feel, I, I smell the kitchens burning. Smell the kitchen burning. Got the greens rolling, the sweet potatoes, you know, and I know there's some pork somewhere. Well, Am Hawk City. Am Hawk Chitlins. <laughs> oh no, I, right. know, I know you say that. I <laughs> know I did. Yes, I wait, did. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I gotta get me some thieves oil. You said chitlins? Yep, chitlins. <laughs> All I right. Spray, I gotta spray my face. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do, let's get all started here. I'm gonna let the volume go down and I wanna say. Big B. Yeah, buddy. Yes, Let's sir, give man. our host with the most big yes, bill, sir. one yes, L. Yes, Morgan, sir. a hand. That's for stopping up. through. That's what's up. All yes, right, sir, Big man. B. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I want to welcome everyone for stopping in this evening. And we're going to talk about some good stuff today. And, you know, of course, health and all the things that are going on with holistic health. We hope to be able to answer those questions for you today. All right. So, Bill, start us off, big buddy. Uh, okay. Tell us what's going on in the world. Sure, man. Yeah. Why don't you pull us back to the main screen so I get yep. my other stuff up here. There you go. Mm -hmm. See, guys, he was hiding. He didn't want me to pull it up. I know what's up. <laughs> uh, of course, we always want to start the program off by doing going where? Going to our very, very favorite website. That is what? NCOV2019.live. So I can give you the quick facts as of about, as of about five minutes ago. Our total confirmed cases of this whole thing going on right now, 259,654,486. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, total uh, critical cases, 82,298. Total deceased. Five million one hundred ninety thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven total active cases. Twenty-one million three hundred twenty-six thousand eight hundred and twelve total recovered. Total recovered. Two hundred thirty-three million thirty thousand nine hundred and seventy-seven. Doctor P. All right, all, all right. Yes, That's yes, a lot sir. going on, y'all. That's a lot going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, again, we are going to always celebrate those that have gone through this coronavirus thing and with that you know there's a number right there you can go right to it see it for yourself share it yes, with sir. your family when you're sitting around the table you know uh, of the you know the kitchen table this year or the dining room table when you're eating you know you want to share with them the people that have come through it and big b give us that number one more time all right hold on one total second. confirmed cases and that's worldwide that's our, our favorite website in cove 2019.live yes sir total now, i would definitely mm -hmm. listen the the total number okay total confirmed cases <clears throat> 259 million six hundred fifty four thousand four hundred and eighty six total confirmed <clears throat> Okay, and the uh, total critical cases eighty-two thousand two hundred ninety-eight. Mm -hmm. Total receipts five million one ninety eight hundred and sixty-seven. Okay, mm -hmm. total active cases twenty-one million three twenty-six eight one eight hundred and twelve, and total recovered two hundred thirty-three million thirty thousand nine hundred and seventeen. Two hundred and thirty-three million people. All that's right, right family. Right. I think that's, that's exactly a way right. to shout right there. There's a yes, lot sir. of people doing the right thing somewhere. So, you know, again, stay on top of things, y'all. You know, things are moving around. You know, you know, I went to a I went to an Eagles game on you know, last weekend, I took the time off. You know, I had to take some time off the weekend, mm -hmm. and I took my son and his best friend to the to the Eagles game because you know you got to do some family time. And I'm walking in there. You yeah, know, well, they got to see me because I gotta put year, my stuff up. This time last year, we're talking about literally there were you know masks everywhere. Everybody was wearing masks. No, you know, close contact. You know, crowds anywhere. Wow. I didn't see no one in there with a mask except for us. <laughs> we were the only ones that had masks on. I said, this is crazy. The people that work there, you oh, know, wow. and, and I mean, nobody was wearing a mask. It was amazing. So I'm thinking to myself, like, what are we, where are we doing, y'all? What are we doing? Are we going to do this? You know, it's amazing that here, you know, people, immune systems, we are reaching that point where people are, you know, they're doing better things. So, you know, we're seeing numbers. <clears throat> Start to, uh, you know, they're starting to rise a little bit. And um, 
I would say this time last year, we weren't doing the same thing. We're not doing the same thing. So Yes, indeed. Uh, we can expect those numbers to rise, specifically in children also. So, Big B, uh, thank you there, buddy. Sure, Appreciate man. Appreciate you. you. You know, I guess, Dr. Paul, I think that's the one thing that sort of uh, holds me up with this. Remember the, the, the main thing they kept saying, this disease does not affect children. Mm-hmm. Remember yeah, they, those days? They wanted, they wanted to kept, say that, but it's yeah. not going to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but, you know, we see that, you know, it's affecting everyone. It yes, has no discrimination no doubt about against it. anyone. No doubt about that. All right, family, want to welcome you all, and this is the family tree, and we ask that, you know, we're going to start to open up the floor to the family, and we call it the family tree because this is where people come together as a family, yes, and yes. as we do the ancient times, we gather around the tree, and from the gathering around the tree, you can actually talk about what's going on in the world. You know, yes, no better yes. place to do it than to take it to your family. You remember? That's, right. That's, That's right. why we call it the real social security. Your real you social security is your family. Say yes. it slow. Social, social security. security. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Social security. That means your family. So Ooh, we add and we set up this platform so that you can sit there this. and you can actually start to yep. make sure you mute yourself. Mute yourself, mute yourself, mute yourself, mute yourself. And you want to make sure that you can ask the questions and no better place to do it with your family. Because uh, usually your answer is always going to be right around someone in your circle. So we set this platform up for that purposes. There are no dumb, no questions. And we say that the only question that you did not ask, that was the only dumb question we ever say, because (laughs) we want you to ask the questions. If we don't know it, we'll find it out for you. Okay. And we'll get that information. Uh, Big B over there. We're going to, we're going to, uh, also uh grab some questions on the chat box so if you have a chat box you want to go in you can go right and leave your information right in the chat box or Mm -hmm. if you want to uh raise your hand you have a question you can go right down to your uh access bar to the right down to the lower right where it says reactions click it raise your hand and we'll see it and we'll try to get to you we may not be able to get to everyone because of the time constraints but we'll try our best if you have a question and you are someone that's uh, on by phone, uh, just make us aware that you are on by phone, and we'll try to get your question. Just make yourself aware of it, okay? Right. Uh-huh. All right. We're going to open up the floor right now. But, Big B, you have anything on the chat right yeah, away? Yeah, as a matter of fact, there's one of the very top is, is a leaking fluid from nose, painful, headaches daily. i uh, been diagnosed with cere- cerebral spinal fluid, CSF leak. Uh, CT scan and MRI schedule. How does how does one prepare for upcoming surgery? Yeah, you got to find out more detail. That's more of a um, you got to find more. I, I have a ton of questions for her. Was that that was? Uh, it's, it's Queen. Queen. You, Queen. You can, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would have a ton of questions to ask you, of course, because that's an assessment. You got to do an assessment to find out what's going on. Dripping or mucus coming from the nose? Is that what you were saying? It's just plain liquid, um, Dr. Paul. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's liquid, look like water. It's coming from, they don't, we don't know the source yet. Mm-hmm. And um, they first thought it was, uh, they first thought it was um, a virus, uh, um, what you call it, sinusitis. They first thought uh-huh. it was sinusitis, mm-hmm. but it's not. Went to mm-hmm. the ENT specialist, and this is what he diagnosed me with. Right, right. So here's what I would, you know, people will will attack it from the bacterial and even the viral, but there's one that people forget about. That's fungus. Mm-hmm. Fungus. Usually there's a fungus that affects the mucous membrane. And that's one that I tell people all the time. If you're doing things, attacking it bacterial, viral, which can cause, can be the cause of things like pneumonia, there's one that infects what's called the mucous membrane, and it's a, it's a condition called catarrh. And catarrh is something that can actually, it's that infection in the lining of the mucous membranes, which causes it now to purge. So constantly, it's constantly nose running, you know, feel like a faucet almost sometimes. You know, so uh, that's something I would look at. I We always, not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent disease, just food for the soul, we go toward things like the oregano oils. Got it. The oregano oil. The oregano oils are anti uh, fungal. That's anti fungal. So, along with things like the, um, the expectorant herbs, which is like the nettle, you know, or the uh, oregano, of course, the oregano, but things like uh, mullen, olive leaf extract, those are all bronchial. Those are for pleurisy, dealing with 
pulling mucus off the system and purging. So that means whenever you see something running, that's also meaning purging. So, um, you know, I would have more questions for you. Now, you're going through a procedure that you said, is that going to be soon? Yeah. Um, you know, me and you talked, I texted you before, not long ago. But anywho, um, I just got diagnosed on, on um, Monday. I just got diagnosed on Monday. Um, <clears throat> I, I was I texted, I, I talked to you and you was telling me to get the um, India oil. We did all of that. But now they're saying it's this. I went to the hospital, and the hospital is the one who said the um the um what did I say it was? Said the uh, sinus situation. But when right. I went to the specialist, he's the one who's saying that you know there's obviously like a tear, which is why this is coming through. But I have no other mucuses or anything like that. It's just a painful. You know, headaches, which bother my head, my eyes, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you have to make sure there's no structural issues first. That's why that's what they're trying to do. You have to eliminate the structural uh, issue first. Once that's out of the way, then you know it's something else dealing with mm -hmm. either bacteria or viral or fungal. So the structural right. is the, is your key. You know, so they won't whenever check you check that out coming up. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's that's really where you're you, you'll know. You should know some uh, findings from that. They're good at, you know, allopathic industry is very good for testing. It's what you do after you find out. That's what the problem is. The treatment is what they, they fall short on. So um, mm -hmm. so when that happens, you know, definitely set up a consultation. We'll sit down and talk, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. We've got one right. following. Okay. What, what can I, what can I take for, uh, for isolated diastolic hypertension? My blood pressure is 112 over 89. I follow a healthy diet, no saturated fats, no smoking, no alcohol, exercise regularly. Mm -hmm. Well, it still does, you know, you can do all the above, but still there's some, there's a lot of different contributing factors for high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, the RM3A, that's what we test. That's what we look for. Uh, I can tell you some of the, um, the most common ones are, uh, that we see are one is called endothelial which is the vessels in the arteries and veins. They usually start to slow down. And from that, they're not pushing. So now causes pressure to raise. And with that, they're, they're like the vessels that push. They push. And when that raises, that means there's a little clotting going on with the blood. So there's an assessment that definitely needs to be done there also because that starts to get into uh, one of the reasons that the pressure is also plaque buildup in the arteries and veins. Plaque buildup from oil, usually high cholesterol, uh, always a systemic problem. There's a lot of people that are working out, you know, that, you know, they they would think that they were doing well. But when we get them on the machine, we show exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a lot of folks coming in from, you know, the uh, working out, you know, physical fit. I have some bodybuilders. And when they come in, they're amazed at, wow. I never saw that coming, but it makes a reason and understanding why the pressure is high. So there is a contributing factor. RM3A, they would be a candidate for the RM3A okay. for any levels of hypertension. Uh, plaque buildup, that was the second one. Third one would be spinal misalignments. You got to make mm -hmm. sure your spine is in, in alignment. Usually T2, T3, those are usually the areas. Thoracic or also cervical. We try to check to make sure there's no structural issues. As a matter of fact, we start there first, and then we work around with the endothelial and then also the plaque buildup in the arteries and veins and also neuropathy, pH balance, things like that. Yep, there's a chart right there. Bill's holding up. That's the sublation chart right there. So with the RM3A testing that we do, we can say exactly and pinpoint where the pressure problems are. So mm -hmm. that's the, she would be a candidate for the RM3A. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, this is a clarity question here. Regarding the colon cleanse, mm -hmm. you take the entire bottle over time, followed by the eliminator, taking the entire bottle over time. This question is for clarity primarily. Yep, that is correct. That is correct. So you've okay. one one system at a time. Complete one system. That's the cleanse. Second system, sweep. That's the correct. Mm -hmm. and, that, and the reason I've given the, the analogy of why that happens, because... When you start to cleanse the colon of any time, the body or these parasites believe that they're being 
eliminated. <laughs> That's why I call it the eliminator. Right. And yeah. so once they start, you start that colon cleanse, they're going to start to try to procreate. And they're trying to procreate because they're, try, they're trying to, to survive. So they're going to say, hey, let's spawn more eggs. So they spawn more eggs, sometimes by the thousands and thousands when they feel threatened. So what happens is some people are colon cleansing, but they're not sweeping. So that's when you come in with the eliminator and then you follow through with the with the herbs that kill parasites to sweep out the system. So mm -hmm. cleanse and sweep. Some people will cleanse and they won't sweep. And then that's when they say, wow, you know what? I had just had a colon cleanse, but now I'm getting all bloated. I don't know what's going on. I got irritable bowel issues. I'm constipated. What's going on? Yep, you didn't sweep. And they're following through. They're actually forming now. They're, they're increasing. Mm -hmm. And they become very active. Sometimes it, one of the signs and symptoms is, is ir a lot of irritation and itching. A lot of itching in the skin, specifically at night. Specifically at night. A lot of people itching at night. And, it, and even in cases at the rectum. The rectum itching. That's going to be a high... Uh, that would be probably the one of the areas that parasites move. See, when you slow mm -hmm. down, when you stop moving, see, parasites have the ability to, they can't move around. They can't do too much while you're having your active day. Mm -hmm. So while you're moving around a lot, you know, they kind of just sort of sit and dormant. But as soon as you slow down and then the blood pressure, you know, calms down, now you know the bloodstream's not moving as fast. You know yes. they say, "Oh well, man, man, he he he's slowing down now." All right, jump in, and they I'll jump right that. into your bloodstream, mm -hmm. and they travel all through, and they tend to 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 uh, gather in places like the rectum, and that's where rectum itching comes from. You know, like if you see children, children, you you can tell when children have parasites because they used to uh, children would sleep with their butts up in the air. You walk by and their butts be sitting up in the air. They be sleep, knocked out sleep with their butt up in the air. You be like, what's wrong with this child? <laughs> this child got parasites. That's what's going on. So it's usually, it's the sugar. You got to watch the sugar. Got it? You got to watch the sugar. So I would say while you're doing colon cleanse and parasite, watch the sugar, watch the heavy meats, because those are contributing factors to make it worse. Okay? Okay. All right, let's go to the top. And we got some questions up here, and we want to grab some folks. Yeah, yeah, uh, let's Sheila see. Yeah, we, let's grab some folks we haven't seen before. Who do we have here? Uh, Sheila from the corner. Yeah, Sheila. Yeah, okay, yeah, Sheila. Yeah. Hey, Sheila. Hi, you talking to me, Sheila Iman? That's yes, right. I'm talking to you, Sheila Iman. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you, Dr. Paul? And we Bill? are doing right. well. We are well. We are well. How are you? Everything's good on your side? Yes, everything's wonderful. Good. I, um, I have a few questions of friends. One of them deals with um, if you are on the circadian rhythm concept and you are not starting to eat until 12 o'clock, solid food, how do you take your medication if you are not supposed to take it? on an empty stomach if you have to take it in the a.m. Well, you, you don't remember the circadian rhythm doesn't say you don't eat in the morning. It's just you got to make it's what type of foods that you're eating in the morning. You can eat in the morning. It's that you have to do cleansing, no meat in the morning. Okay. That's the king. Yeah, there's no meat in the morning. So usually between 4 a.m. and 12 noon, that's your cleansing cycle. So that means you're you're actually flushing the system. So that means while you're flushing the system, you don't want to eat meat because meat's going to demand energy. So that yes. means you got to use enzymes from the pancreas and the liver to create enzymes. So I'm using energy now to get energy to break it down. So now it's going to wear me out. So here I am in the cleansing cycle, and now I'm trying to create enzymes. It's going to be a you're, you're causing a, a problem with that circadian rhythm. You're losing your balance. So that's why we don't want to do that. So it's always going back to um, cleansing. You can eat, but just don't eat meat. Okay. They're listening, so they're hearing. Okay, good, good. <laughs> they're not eat meat eaters anyway. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, so cleansing, anything cleansing. So that would be fruits in the morning. Right. Okay, fruits in the morning. Fruits in the morning, vegetables in the afternoon and evening because fruits stimulate vegetables stabilize y'all remember that yes. mm -hmm. yeah fruit stimulate vegetables stabilize don't mix fruits and vegetables together at the same time 
you know, that's going to cause a, a problem because one stimulates, one, one is actually stabilizing. Okay, somebody mute yourself, mute yourself. Okay, now all my right. My question is about uh, diabetes. One, a friend, and she's on, um, was diagnosed as having diabetes. She's on the insulin, but since she's been on the insulin, her levels have been normal. Can she come off, and how can she maintain a normal um, blood sugar level through herbs? Yeah, she has to make make sure. Remember, you never want to pull off of any medication if you've been on it for more than a year. You know, the the conversation becomes communication. That's the communication with your doctor, but you have to test yourself regularly. You know, never pull just off of an herb or anything, especially if you've been doing it for a long time. And uh, what medication what is she on right now? Is she on like a metformin or something? Uh, I believe so. She's on. I would love to see her face. So she mm -hmm. shake her head. Um, mm -hmm. right yeah. Now. So so that means blood pressure. I would I would do for um, the transition. You have to transition off of, but also transition with the information of knowing to your doctor that that's your goal. You know, I tell folks all the time, you know, if you want to get off this medication, you got to know yourself better than your doctor. Mm -hmm. That means when your numbers start to come up, when you show up for your, you know, three month or six month appointment, you got numbers. You can't just show up and say, all right, what are we doing? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and here's my, yeah. here's, um, do you take your medicine? Yep, that's it. Okay, see you next six months. You know, uh -uh. you got to get proactive. You got to be proactive. Proactive means blood pressure. So when you take your, you get your blood pressure, always take your blood pressure when, remember what I told y'all, when you take your blood pressure, take it always when. Okay, not everybody at the same time, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, y'all rushing before, to the chain. I can't, y'all talking too fast. I got to slow all y'all down. You're talking too fast. I take every morning. Is that there when? There you go. When That's you right. Okay, when you take it, always take it. The time you take it is always going to be you know, after you've rest for yes. at least at least 10 minutes. Got it? Try to dress at least 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes rest in an active, in a rest state, not an active state. That means also never take it right after you ate, not after you eat food. You know, these are times that you can, you know, when you go to a doctor's office and they call you from the waiting room and you get up and you walk into the office, first thing when you sit down, they're going to test your pressure. Ah! Wrong time to take your pressure. And that's where most people make the mistake. So always wait for a few minutes. Get to that resting state. Say, hey, can you take my pressure in about 10 minutes? And then take it twice before you leave. Before they can really start to, you know, analyze and say that this is, you really need this medication. A lot of people are getting uh, their numbers from active states, which is inaccurate numbers. So be careful. Got it? And uh, I would say just rest Get your time in, rest, document all your numbers, blood pressure, systolic, diastolic, and also the, the um, what we call uh, get your pulse. But then there's, I'm going to do a class on what's called pulse pressure, the difference with pulse pressure. Now, how the difference between the systolic and diastolic tells us where you are, whether you're in your you're degenerating or you're generating when it comes to your uh, blood pressure so uh, we'll get into that one day we'll talk about pulse pressure and then the last one would be your sugar so if you're doing with diabetes you got to do your sugar numbers and then have those numbers so when you go to the doctor you got a log of information that you're going to drop on it and guess what by that time you're already going to know yourself better than you ever thought you did because you're going to know your numbers. All right? So keep keep those track of those numbers. I'm hearing you. One more, and it, then I'm going to make a statement. Um, okay. What about a sore tongue? If someone constantly has a sore tongue, what is that caused by, and how can you correct it? You said a sore tongue? Yes, yeah. uh-huh. Sore tongue. Uh, first thing I would look at is uh, toxicity. Uh, that's a form of inflammation, possibly. Um, we do a tongue diagnosis. You can actually see an assessment that we do with the tongue uh, where you can look at literally. Did we talk about this before? Did we ever do a tongue? I don't Did I ever show y'all the tongue no, chart? I don't think so. No. I never showed y'all the tongue chart. No. Well, yeah, there's the tongue chart. <laughs> so you can see the tongue chart. And, and when the person licks their tongue out or sticks their tongue out to you, you can 
look at the entire body on the tongue. Wow. And wow. any inconsistencies on the tongue is, remember, inconsistencies on the outside represent inconsistencies on the inside. Mm -hmm. So you can tell if someone has everything from liver, pancreas, kidneys, heart problem. Uh, you can look at spine misalignments. I'm telling you, this wow. body is the body is incredible. Amazing. If I show you this chart, it's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna be like, get out of here. That's how we did it without cutting you open. Rip burning or cutting you open. We looked at your body and it gave a description wow. of you from the head to the toes. That's it. We can see and you just match it up. You match it up all the way down. And that's why we say, oh, yeah, your kidneys are out of balance because I can see it under your eyes. And then that matches what's on your tongue. And then from that, that matches your ear. Yep, you can do ear. You can also do your hands. You can also match your your torso and your whole body. You can match every part of your body matches up to tell you what's going on with the body. Ain't God good? Somebody better say mm -hmm. amen up in here. Amen. Something. Throw something at the He's screen awesome. or something. I, I know that's right. I <laughs> know that's something. right. Throw something at the screen or something. Pick up a shoe, something. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tongue analysis. Yeah. You can do what? What was that? The tongue analysis. Tongue analysis. How do you get a tongue analysis? It's a chart. And what you're looking at is just the inconsistency. We we you know, I do the training on that also. You know, we can we, we do that, but the most accurate way we use is the urine because that's the you know, we say first catch, you can actually find a lot more with the urine. So that's why we do that along with the RM three A. But yes, we can look at the tongue also. But here's the thing. If you see a white coating on your taste buds, yes. On your tongue, that's processed foods right there. That's, that's the contamination of too much uh, processed food from refined sugar, refined salt, refined oils, you know, stuff. So when you lick out your tongue, lick your tongue out, y'all. Y'all can, can go like that. Y'all want uh -huh. to. You look in the mirror. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> you can actually lick yeah, your wow. tongue out, and, yep, you can find out everything going on right there. Yep. All right, so that's a good one. Maybe we, Big B, you gotta remind me on that one, okay? I, I remember we talked about about that on the uh, on the greenhouse some some time ago. Remember yeah, we did chart? talk about that. We, we had about a, that. Yeah, yes. that was a long time ago. Yeah, so we well. gotta revisit that one. The yep. tongue, the tongue analysis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all gonna be like this, like yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at well, my tongue. <laughs> I have a quick question since we're on the tongue. So would that be the same for like a what they say a burning tongue? Like well, remember, burn anything burning is inflammation. Anything burning is inflammation. Remember, only one thing moves in heat, and that's male principle. Got it? Male or female. Got it? So anything that you say is burning, heat, dehydration, lack of minerals, those are all what principle? That's a male yeah. principle. That's male principle. Got it? Female is what? Build up. You uh -huh. know, that's alkalinity. You know, male is acid. That's tearing down, destruction, heat, dissipation of minerals, all of that stuff. So when you mm -hmm. build up, you now you know that that's why we go after those foods that have the alkalinity because they spin you in a different direction. Energy mm -hmm. spins, remember? Energy spins to the right. Which way? If it spins to the right, which is that? Male or female? Male or female? All right, everybody, miss, that's right. Move real fast, boy. Hey, I tell you, boy, this class yes, is quick, yes. boy. They quick, right. boy. Mm, boy, they quick. <laughs> some of y'all looking away, looking like, wait, I got some beans still on. Wait a minute, my beans on. Female. I got, I got my beans I better go get. <laughs> so moving to the right and slow is female that no. is correct that is correct it. male it moves fast to the left that's tear down destruction so that's energy that's what the acid you ever heard somebody say boy they cut so and so open and the cancer spread man yeah. cancer moves yeah. in a fast acid state that's why mm -hmm. you gotta alkalize reduce inflammation you start to add alkalinity to it that's why we have the things that are you know, the fresh fruits, the vegetables, things like that. You're looking for the alkalinity. That's the energy. It's not the food. It's the energy in the food. Mm -hmm. Got it? All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I, want, I just want to say one thing. One okay. Of, one of the ladies that came on a couple of weeks ago, she um, she's a shopper, and she's always bringing good things 
to us to eat. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't remember her name. Helen. Helen. I oh, think it's Helen's Helen. here. Yeah, okay. she's here. I went to Whole Foods and I got the brownie mix with the almond uh, flour. Mm -hmm. That's candy. great. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. I you know I stopped eating sugar, but once you put your tongue to those brownies, you cannot resist. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. It's over. It's over. It's all over. I made them, and every five minutes, I had to have another slice. Mm. <laughs> I even bought some to make for tomorrow. They are just, delicious. And then just kept know. calling you. Kept huh. calling you, huh? <laughs> kept calling you. So thank you, Helen. Uh, you're not really. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made mine yet. I'll be making oh. them tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's I'm good. Three cans of mine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh man, I can't <laughs> see Boy, that's, that's some good yeah, stuff, man. It's good to know people putting stuff to practice in here. All well, right, that's good. That's, right. that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, Sheila. Yeah. Oh, yes, go Nitha. Go ahead, Nitha. Yes, go ahead. Uh going back to the young the one who was just speaking yes. about diabetes. I'm also a diabetic. And it is work because I should have saved this for the green hour because they put me on insulin because I was really out of control, but I've taken myself off insulin. I went back on the metformin until those side effects started coming back. I am off the metformin. All right. I'm down to one drug, but it's work because I monitor first thing in the morning, blood pressure, pulse ox, temperature, blood sugar, and I record and mm -hmm. I got off a while, but I wasn't doing my breathing exercises. And I'm usually, my pulse ox is usually around 94, 95, 97. I very rarely get up to 99. Mm -hmm. But after I did my incentive spirometer, I was 99. Mm -hmm. So I said, I got to get back in the habit of exercising the lungs. But I am on the Gym Neva. Mm -hmm. I yes. take that Gym Neva. It's working. I take a blood pressure herb. It's working because I was on two blood pressure meds. I took myself off one, now I'm down. Mm -hmm. I did share this with my doctor. He knows me, knows who I am, what I do, and he knows because it was the strangest thing. The office called me one day and said, oh, Ms. Armstrong, uh, the doctor put you on a new med. I said, what new med? He said, he put you on a statin. I said, I don't take statins. <laughs> I said, how dare he put me on a statin and didn't discuss mm, it with me? Mm, I, mm. I don't take statins. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> right. Know? That's yes. right. That's so, right. And then they put you on statins just because you're yeah. a diabetic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you got to watch that. But I'm you telling gotta you, watch it. it is worth You have to monitor yourself and know yes. your body because yes. I do it. I don't miss checking my blood sugars and writing and recording. There are books that you can get, and I have a blood sugar lab log book, and I order three or four at a time because mm -hmm. I have to. It's, mm -hmm. I have to because my yeah. goal is to not take anything. There That's right. So there it you can go. be done. There you can. It can be done. You know, we've had uh, plenty of people that have come on. There go, Bill. There you go, Bill. I, I know I had it There's here somewhere. Bill. There's the tongue chart right ah. there. Y'all see the tongue chart? That's the tongue chart right there. See how the the on the right, the very front, it's like a body upside down. Yes. Doesn't yeah, it look like it? Like a body upside down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I thought that was intense. And this is this is an ancient <laughs> this is an ancient method of you know, assessing what was wrong with us yes. back in the times. This is how you do it. That's how we're hooked up. And people say, Well, how does this happen? How does it body know that? Because we are all, you know, when you are, you know, that embryo and you're down like this, mm -hmm. you know, when you're down like this, it's this thing yeah. called the melanin crystal. It's the melanin crystal. And that melanin crystal is sort of the DNA mapping of the entire body. So as you unfold first, second, third trimester, you unfold like a flower. Mm. But yet you're still connected the same way as you were folding up. That's like you're taking a piece of paper and you draw all these lines on the paper, right? And then you ball it up. Is it still connected? Absolutely. Yes. You got it? So when you open the paper up, it's back into a different place. But that line is always connected to this line. That line mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. So that's why they knew this was true because when they did 
some of the early research they did. They took the, you know, you ever see an egg? Of course, everybody's seen an egg with the mm-hmm, yolk, mm-hmm. right? Well, the yolk is actually uh, the DNA information that tells the nuclei or the new sun what to do and how to create the chick. Mm. Got it? That's what it is. So what happens is they knew this was true because they took the whites or the whites because that's what the whites are. That's DNA information. And they said, well, let's move stuff around. (laughs) So they started, you know how the yolk keeps it together, right? Yolk keeps it together Mm -hmm. in line. So they started moving stuff around. And they said, we're going to see what happens if we just move around that yolk. And when they did that, they they actually cultivated it and the chicken came out backwards. Wow. That's what, what? happened. Yep. That's it. Wow. So it scrambles the DNA when you do that. So that's why mm. that when you open the egg and open it up and it stays, the yolk keeps that DNA information in place so that when it gets to the yolk, it actually tells it what to do. And then you create life. Wow. So same thing happens with us. When we unfold like this, we're still together. That's the basis for acupuncture. That's why you can hit you on the wrist and it can hit you on the other side of the body, you know, something like that. So it's a it's a strong and incredible science, but it's connected all throughout the body. So from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, you can assess the entire body. Ain't that amazing? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. You know, I always say, if you can't see God, you ain't looking. You ain't I'm looking. sorry, no, you ain't right. looking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is an incredible mapping system. Okay, let me go to the top here. Thank you, Sheila. Appreciate you. Thank you, Nitha. Did you have a question, Nitha? I think she went. She, she's she, gone. She went away. She, okay, she come, she got it. Back. Got it. All right. Uh, let's go up to, uh, let's go to Michelle. Michelle, and then we'll go to Helen. Okay? Michelle? Hey, I'm here. Michelle, hey, where's Michelle. That, where's that baby? Boy? Where's that baby? Where's that baby? <laughs> I hear you. Hold on. Let me show you. I was just finished feeding her. Hold on, while she got her eyes wide open. There <laughs> she is. Hey. All right, all right, all right. Oh, beautiful. That's what's up. That's what's up. Beautiful. All right. She said, y'all know it's past my bedtime. I'm going to bed. See y'all later. <laughs> I'll catch it on the rerun. <laughs> all right, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, so my question is, I'm breastfeeding. And I'm nervous of what I eat, like the different spices, the herbs, and food. Mm-hmm. Um, I know to steer where steer clear of peppermint um, because that decreases the milk flow. So I've just been like doing research on like herb, mm-hmm. um, herbs to stay, you know, herbs to not eat while breastfeeding. So it's just so overwhelming. So mm-hmm. do you know like any herbs? Or um, mm-hmm. or spices to stay away from, and herbs and spices to decrease my milk flow. Well, the one thing that you want to always take with everything that you take is red raspberry. You know about that? We had that conversation. Oh, yeah, remember, red too. raspberry, right? Yeah. Now, to increase the the flow for for breastfeeding, we use fenugreek. You know about fenugreek? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of that one? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have you tried that one? No, I haven't tried it. Okay. Fenugreek is what's been used uh, for keeping the flow and also for you to produce and lactate. Because what happens is if you're not, that's that's what helps to also keep the flow and circulation going in the breast. Got it? So that the mm-hmm. baby is actually constantly being fed. So fenugreek is what I would do. And then sometimes there's a combination uh, not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any diseases, food for the soul. We say fenugreek, and that's red raspberry, and maybe a little milk thistle. Those are the three. Okay. Mm-hmm. Those are your three. So what you do is you keep those in combination. See, red raspberry is always going to make things safe for you. So whenever in doubt, you can always take red raspberry. It sort of delivers it to the woman safely. And this is for just in general. This is for everybody, not even if you're just pregnant, but it's just in general, period, because it keeps the 
That's why they call it the woman's herb. It keeps everything balanced. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's your perfect herb. When God came up with the red raspberry, it was the woman in mind, you know, because it deals with your hormones, your balance, your your temperament. It deals with cycles, rhythms, things like that. It's an all good, feel good herb all the time. You know, you should always have some red raspberry tea in the evening is what I recommend. Okay. okay. All right. And also, um, is chamomile, like chamomile and lavender, are they good for life? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those okay. are comatives. Those are your, that's the, that's mommy time to relax. And somebody, <laughs> no, right? somebody, <laughs> baby, <laughs> go to sleep so right. mommy can get some rest. Because <laughs> mommy don't get rest. She yeah. up every couple hours. You know, I know where you are. Absolutely. So, <laughs> okay. you know, yep. yeah. So I that's definitely your, need that. That's, yeah, well, that's, I had that on hand, so. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's a good one for you. So keep up the good work, okay? You All know, right. bless thank you now. You. Bless you. All right, and thank you for allowing us to see baby. She oh, said, "All right." She she said, yeah, she fussing. She fussing. She said, "You got me on TV. I'm ready to go home. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Leave me I'm alone. ready to go to sleep. Leave me alone." <laughs> All right, thank you, Michelle. We appreciate you. Okay. All right. All right, Helen. How you doing, Helen? How you doing, Dr. Paul? Hi, how you doing, Bill? How's hey, everybody? Helen. All right, we're Just doing fine. well. We're doing well. Right. Um, I do have this here is a fruit spread and it's really good. I, I put this in my um pheno and my was it that rice that uh Bill told me about the grits. Mm -hmm. And I mixed it with this and blueberries, and it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Um next, um I just wanted to know um, what's good to clean the ears out with, you know, mm -hmm. instead of a Q-tip, mm -hmm. what, uh, what else could be used as like an instrument just to, you know, insert in the ears, just to take the wax out without pouring any substance down in there. Right, right. Something that's that's safe, right? Yes. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. I just happen to have it right here in front of me. Oh, great. This is something that uh, I picked up and I'm, I'm you know, I, I constantly, you know, find stuff and I test it out and see how it works. This one here is called earwax removers. This is what it's called uh, right there. Earwax removers. Wow. Got okay. it. And mm -hmm. here is what it looks like. It comes in a, in a uh, packaging like this. Mm -hmm. And as you see, it has this very it's a this is a a a um what they call patent technique and what it does you can see that this right here is very soft it's very soft mm -hmm. but they notice that when you take a q-tip it pushes back and that's what they say this is designed to do the very opposite if you look right on the side here i'm gonna turn it around there's an arrow there's an mm -hmm. arrow right on here and it tells you the direction in which to spin it and mm -hmm. when you spin it, it acts like a spiral. So when it goes in, instead of pushing back, it grabs. Mm -hmm. It grabs and pulls it back. Now, one of the, the other things that I think that was really good, not only is it very soft tip, so it doesn't damage the ear and it doesn't go into it, but it has a safety feature here that mm -hmm. when it goes to a certain degree, it stops. It, it won't allow you to go to a certain level. So it's a safety piece involved with it also by the way it's designed. See, the, the way it's designed like that, it can mm -hmm. only go in. So each person that has an ear at a certain level, it's not going to go as far as, you know, a certain point before uh, you grab what it is and you pull it out. I'm going to tell you, I used this for the first time. I couldn't believe what I was pulling out of my ear. I was like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is that? I need that. Yes. Where did you get it at? Amazon? I got it online. I got it online. Maybe I'll see if I can find uh, where I ordered it from. But the uh -huh. name of the uh, the company is called Earwax. Uh, it's called Ear Earwax Removers. That's what it's called. Earwax Removers, and uh, it's is very safe. And let me tell you, it really does. It does work. It says the twist and soft tip with spiral grooves right. easily removes the earwax. The curves of the handle are uh, very easy to use. And basically, it's a disposable also. So you can buy extra tips that go on here. So when these wear out, you can actually use fresh tips on here. And I think it comes yeah. with like a, they give you like an assortment of tips that you can order from and things like that. Great piece. Great piece. 
So yes. yeah, one time. Oh, interesting. I just happen to have it right here. So it's cleaning the ears that people, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, just wax build up in the ears, specifically when you have earphones on all the time. That's mm -hmm. why I have it sitting here with me, because if I'm on the if I'm uh, on Zoom calls or I'm on, you know, a lot of the uh, shows that we do, we're having headphones and things on mm -hmm. <laughs> when your ear believes that is being threatened, it's going to produce wax because yeah, it's thinking it's all, yeah it's think, it thinks that there's uh you know it's something trying to getting in mm -hmm. it well it's yeah. actually it's a, actually it's self defense right so that's why you know that actually is protecting insects and things from crawling into your ear like mm -hmm. when you sleep in this stuff that's mm -hmm. what it's for so it it produces more so when you have loud music or you play loud music all the time those are the people that have all the wax build up in their ear I never knew that. Mm -hmm. the, you said the protection from the um, insects. I never do mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yes. yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it does. Its its main purpose is to protect from any insect or thing to get into your ear and plant because insects will get into your ear and nest. You know, nest. It's a perfect nesting area because yeah. it's nice, it's warm, it's cozy. Mm -hmm. They get in there and just sitting there and just you know yeah. people were pulling out spiders out of their ears. That's the true stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's that's it's terrible. I know y'all ain't want to hear that one. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. I'm going to sleep on. with... I'm going to take my headphones off. They're going to sleep with earmuffs tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> girl, girl, what you got earmuffs on? Don't worry uh, about it. Yes, yes, so, yes. Dr. Yes. Paul, I got something else to ask you. Um, so is uh, cauliflower, since it's like white mm -hmm. and um, it doesn't really have too much of a substance, is cauliflower harmful? Is it good? And versus romesco. Romesco is almost like um, mm -hmm. a broccoli. Is mm -hmm. romesco a little mm -hmm. better than, would you well, say? I would say that, uh, you know, the earlier forms of that all go back to purple. Yes. You know, there's purple yes. cauliflower. Mm -hmm. You know, there's purple cauliflower. So I would say yes, yes, yes to all the above. As long as the, the seeds have not been modified, they're all good. You know, so, you know, when you take, you remember, they all have their purpose because they're going to have magnesium. They're going to have chromium. They're going to have the nit the nitrites and things that, that, that actually are coming out of the soil. They're pulling all the things that alkalize to allow the body to do what it does. So mm -hmm. you never can go wrong. The best herb or food for you is, 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 is what's good for you. Mm -hmm. So there's no good or better one, but just, you know, just make sure it's in its raw state as much as possible, not sprayed, you know, mm -hmm. so those are the questions you would ask. If you got someone who's growing these things, you want to know, was it, what was the soil that you used in it? If you can find out, I mean, you may right. not be able to know this information. But right. but if you have a farmer that's growing the stuff and, you know, you say, well, what seeds are you? Seeds and soils is what we say. And right. uh, I have not seen anything that God has created when it comes to vegetables and fruits that haven't been having its purpose in some way or another. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Paltz, tomorrow I'm having um, a veggie lasagna mm -hmm. and I'm having those brownies. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so that's uh, oh, of man. Right. I know they're good. She you might want to drop some. one in the bubble wrap and send it on. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Helen, Helen Shields said, send her some. She's she going she to drop that on us, Bill. She said, yeah, I'm going to have brownies. That's, that's, that's mean. I'm that's mean. I'm going to have brownies. Yeah. I let y'all know. Sheila told us that they were very good, so <laughs> I, that's all I need. I that's all, that's all she needs. See, Sheila, you just started something. You need to buy another pack because that one pack is not going to work for you. I believe after y'all finish here, we ain't going to be able to get no more at the store. <laughs> y'all going to go buy it all. Always. Thank uh, you so much. To Happy Thanksgiving right, to thank everyone. Thank Happy Thanksgiving. Thank okay. All right. I, I didn't see the brownies. What What are the name of the brownies and where do you get them from? Wait a minute. I'll go get mine right now. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That takes care of that. So, man. So, I can take care of that right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, While she's doing that, I do have an announcement. OK, yeah. I did tell you all that, uh, you know, there was some new developments on the yes, horizon. Yes. And in yes. the horizon has come to this day. And today is going to be. Yeah, Big B, give me the drum roll. Give me the drum roll. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, yeah, there's the brownies over there's there. The brownies. I see there's them. the brownies. I see them. Yep, yep. Oh, what is it called? Simple what? 
simple mills. Simple mills. mills. Thank okay. You. Okay. Simple mills. Okay. Six ninety nine. Okay. And there, where are they at? What store? At Whole Foods. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Thank so you. So you make them. You, you, you can go it, to Mom's. You can go to Wegmans. Mm -hmm. okay. Or there's a there's another box that that looks very similar. So make sure it says Simple Mills. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. As I was saying, uh, today is the day I want to give out to the family. And this is going to be because you are part of the family tree and you all tune in with such, um, you know, consistency. We, you're going to have the first, you know, uh, I guess, approach to this whole thing. The first and opportunity it's, it's to actually become. Mute yourself. There you go. go no, ahead, mute yourself. And uh, we're going to open up this um this new form of the green drink, same formula, new look, everything. But we're going to roll out specials for the holidays and things right. like that. All so right. I have a new site for you. All right. Uh -oh, I got a new out. site for you where mm -hmm. you can actually go and you can order your green drink. You can actually uh, order also with that. We have special deals dealing with the colon cleanse and the parasite formula. We got uh, we have what's called the click funnel. And the click funnel is going to show you all the different things that we're doing, but also this is where we're going to start to roll out other products also. So we look forward to some things like for, you know, not only the colon cleanse, the parasite, the green drink, but also look for other products. Now you get first dibs. How about that? All right, all right, all right. This, See, that's um, what's up. Usually we're going to do it goes live uh, this Friday. That's when the email blast goes out to all the subscribers. But you, part of the family tree, because you tuned in this evening, you're going to get first dibs to the website. And you can actually, you can purchase your orders now. This is actually a VIP set. And with this, I will have a VIP group. And from right. that, I'm going to roll out special opportunities for them. All so right. with that, also, I got a digital book on here. How about uh -oh. that? Look out, y'all. Digital book. And this is what I call a quick snapshot that you can keep with you no matter where you are. It kind of talks about some of the fundamental basics that I always talk about. It's called Mastering a Healthy Lifestyle. That's what it is. This is my first digital book, and it's really like a pamphlet. And I wanted something that doesn't overwhelm people but it's enough for you to when you order a green drink if you're sharing this some people say well what does the green drink do i don't know it's just good girl i don't know what, I, what it is you know this allows you to actually explain things and i break it down from the origins of naturopathy so i give a little history of the origins of naturopathy and a lot of the things that are going we talk about which is the water Talk about the mm, pH, wonderful. best waters. I also get into the top toxic foods. I break it down this right. time. I go a all little right. bit deeper all right. with the toxic foods, you know, the glyphosates and all those things. So all of that's inclusive with this, and you can go right on and order that right from the website. So here's the website. It's shop.drpaulherbswithas.com. That's it. Simple as that. Shop. Dot Dr. Paul Herbs dot com. And I'm going to share my screen. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And you can go there. You can place your orders. Now, we have ordered like a certain because we're we're ordering right now. and We're rolling this out. We only ordered a certain amount right now. So you're getting the first dibs, first dibs. And this is the first ones. And it's opening up to you tonight. All right. So let me kick it over here and let's share the screen there. Big B. And so that you can see it, let me know if you can see it. <clears throat> let me know when you can see it. Can everybody see it yet? Uh, not, see yet it? not yet. There you go. There you go. Okay. Everybody see it? Yes, sir. There I can. Is. Okay. Yeah. There it is. And basically, yeah. we just basically give a breakdown. And this for letting people know what's going on and how to it. improve. I like the colors. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's yep. really nice. Yep. And it actually, and then here's the, some of the specials that we're going to be rolling out. And this is also drop ship too. We're going to be doing drop ship. So some people saying that, you know, instead of me going back and forth to the store all the time, I can have it shipped on a regular monthly basis. And it all breaks right. down 
I go into breaking down all of these specific ingredients, 16 superfoods that are included in my green drink. That's great. And that awesome. talks about the alfalfa, the astragalus root, the barley grass, beet root, uh, chlorella with broken cell wall. You know, we've talked about, we had a show on just about every one of these, Irish moss, uh, kelp. Lemon peel, uh, Pau Diarco, purple dulse seaweed. You know, this is one of my favorites right here. Uh, mm-hmm. Red raspberry. Hey, yes, <laughs> rose yes, hips. Yes. <laughs> we got the rose hips, and that's, that's vitamin up. C. All the way down to the spinach leaf, the stevia, turmeric, and the wheatgrass. So that's a breakdown of everything. Oh, that's... wait a minute. Who's that on there? <laughs> Who's that on there? Uh-oh. Look, look out, boy. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Look Who out, boy. That? Who that handsome dude up there, man? You're going to find them socks. Like... You better watch out. <laughs> I know. I ain't going too far. <laughs> I said I can do I can do the face, oh, but I can't boy. do the socks. <laughs> well, oh, that's great. So it goes right into it, and from that, you know, share it with your family. Yes, you know, it's yes, an opportunity yes. for you to go right into it. That's the new look for the uh, Green Balance, and hey, family, you can't already do than that. Uh, we've been we've been testing it in certain places, and people are saying that they really uh, they really great. like the the whole look and everything. All right, so I want you to know that shop dot Dr. Paul Erds with a yes, S sir. dot com. I don't know if you can put that in the spot yeah, there, Big I, I already have it in, Dr. Paul. It's already I, right. May I ask a question, please? Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. I just went into the sh- um, shop dot Dr. Paul Erds dot com. It's just showing green, the green, the natural green balance. Right. If you go into it, once you order that, it goes into the next level. It takes you right on oh, through. Okay. okay. So, okay. Thank and then you. once you, and once you want to order, It'll allow you to order or to add the other things like the colon cleanse and the parasite, things like that. We're still rolling it out. Like I said, we're we're still beta testing it, but you tonight get the first div. So it's going to be improvements made to it, uh, you know, as far as the options that you'll have. And uh, eventually there will be a Shopify attached to it. So we're, we're going to do all of that good stuff. All right? all right. And it will explain to me what the natural green balance is. That's what the, yeah, that's what it does. It does the whole thing. It gives you the whole thing. That's what I just showed you. Hello. Yeah, didn't you see it? Good. I give the breakdown right here of all the different things, okay? Um, Dr. Paul. Yes. I'm on the phone. Yes, uh, Dr. Are. Paul. Yep. You, you, all right. All right. This is Brother Farouk. Yes, uh, we know. I mean, excuse me. I know <laughs> I was just sitting here waiting for this to speak if I can. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. Okay. Well, um, I, I did put in the public, you know, on a um, on a you know in the chat. I don't know if anybody seen it or not, but um, I saw. I didn't know who it was, but why did we do see it? Okay, um, I wanted I, I wanted to kind of finalize the two two things, but um, I wanted the email. I needed the email. I need that email. Um, I know. I, 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 oh, if you okay. Could, what email? Which email the, are you talking the about? The, the email regarding your new website. Yeah, it's not an email. Yeah, what you have to do is once you subscribe to the website, are you able to get someone to subscribe for you for the website? On your website? On your mm-hmm. website? Yeah, it's going to go to an email. I'm giving the opportunity to, to give you the website so you can go directly to it, but you'll get an official email blast if you're a subscriber. Yeah, it's going to automatically. Yeah, gonna, I, yeah, uh, it'll okay, happen yeah, automatically. Yeah. It'll happen yeah, automatically. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right. And the next thing, yeah, the next thing. Um, also, I was inquiring for um any type of uh, resources. I know I was, <laughs> I'm pretty humble, but I was. Uh, did you see that, um, Bill? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I, yeah, I saw the whole thing. Okay, could you kind of elaborate a little bit for me? What was that? Um, um what well, happened? Um, um, well, I was actually trying to get a, um a little um help because I wanted to see. Cause I'm, you know, trying to move, and cause there's a little bit of trouble in my, you know, my living. Like I've been trying to my living anyway, but um, okay. also we're well, trying Peru. to get a few members to also order a buy. This is for me financially at the moment because, you know, I know it's pretty rough at this moment, but I'm still, you know, okay, for some okay, kind of fruit. So let's do this. Let's do this because we don't want to. We want to make sure we get the questions out, and you can. Uh, that's sort of an off. 
uh, offline conversation, okay? Right. So what we'll do, uh, Bill can actually, you talking about the, the organic goal? Is that what you're talking about, the link? Yeah, and also okay. any type of donations because I've, I've, been, I've been trying to reach out for um Unstored. Understood, <laughs> understood. So we can we can help you out with that. So Bill's already put that out there. Yeah, it, help it's, Brother Farouk out. It's there. If he can. He's, he's uh, visually impaired. So he's actually has the a, the Ganoderma uh, coffee that we talk about all the time, and definitely uh, support the brother. So Bill, you got that in there, right? And it's under the title Zoom user, okay? Zoom okay. user, got okay. it. So so we'll we'll do that, Farouk, and then just call me offline, and then we'll talk a little further, okay? And I can yeah. maybe work some other things for you, okay? Okay, boss. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank Happy you, Thanksgiving to you. All right. Yeah, you you have you Thanksgiving it. to you too. You got it, my all friend. Right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, let's see here. Big B, you got somebody uh, yeah, on that? Yeah, yeah, I have a, I have a couple. One, one quick one. Uh, mm -hmm. How would you? Let me see. How, uh, how do you handle gout for the knee? What's mm. good for gout in the knee? That's number uh, one. Acid, acid every time. Acid okay. comes back to acid every time. Right. <laughs> okay. Like acid. Yep, it's going after that knee. Yeah. You know, going after the hip, going after the joints, connective tissue. Uh -huh. You know, shoulder. Oh, right, man, right. you know, this is God's greatest performance is your body. Mm -hmm. And it said, if I'm going to create this body, you know, it's not going to always have the ability to get, you know, you know, food. So it has to have a self-defense mechanism that supports it, that it can stay alive. So right. what is that? It's going to start to now go find it. So if you're starving, it's going to go and say, well, hey, if we can't eat food right now. We got to grab it from somewhere else to reduce right. this inflammation. So let's pull it from places like the bones. We're going to pull it from the calcium, the greatest source from where you can get a lot of minerals. We're going to pull it out the calcium out of your hip, your knees, your joints. But see, if you knew that that's the problem, you can stop that right away with things like the green drink. There you go. You know, things like the colon cleanse, the parasite cleanse, but also coral calciums. All of these yes, things yes. raise the pH and keep your body to the point where it doesn't have to rob you. So, again, we're going back to that same thing. Now, topical, I will give you some topical things that I'll recommend for knees specifically. Um, I always recommend the Comfrey Cream. The Comfrey Cream. Okay, the Comfrey cream, that's a good one. Got it. Comfrey. It's uh it's by Dr. Christopher's uh Comfrey cream is an excellent one. And then there's another one, um uh the the I would I would definitely recommend the um pine oil. You remember the um big B, what's the um uh, the pine oil that we use. Oh, turpentine. Turpentine. The turpentine. Turpentine. Yeah, turpentine. Turpentine. Yes. yes. Man, that turpentine really works, y'all. That thing been around a long time. Turpentine, when you start to use that, goes in to deal with the, you know, you know, when you have the pads that are in the the shoulder and the knees and things up those are the things that become inflamed and sometimes dry out and yes. they, they break or they yes. crack or they tear uh -huh. so those those uh meniscus tears you know the shoulder rotation the rotary cuff things like that 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 specific uh, you know goes right into that shoulder and that pine tree y'all know what the pine tree was used right turpentine is what that's actually the pine tree and they know that the studies show when they study this in colleges or in universities they said this thing stops cancer this thing is lean you know people yeah. used to back in the day take the pine needles right off the but, tree yeah and boy go ahead and boil them right there right on the spot yep so it's an excellent form of Taking the pine needles, you can also boil those. You can even have you steep them for about, usually because they're thick, they take about 20 minutes or so. Uh -huh. After you remove the pine needles, take a white towel, white towel, no dyes. Dip it into that water after it's gotten to a temperature where you can handle it. Uh -huh. Ring it, and then you can take that towel, wrap that right around the knee. Uh -huh. That'll do you some good right there. Okay. Got it? It's a good way. Okay. See, this is old school stuff right here, Big B. Well, old, right. school. old school. Old school. Old school. Old school. Old school. Old school. Yes. yes, sir. Exactly. Hey, one more. Me, one more. Go, go ahead, uh, Betty. The turpentine, you're talking about the turpentine that we used to use to remove paint? 
Well, it's a variation. This is the oil. This is the oil, the spirits and oil. That is a variation of it. Yes, it is the same thing. It's the same thing, but it's the original oils from that. Yeah. See, you have turpentine that's used for oils, the essential oils that are pressed from the pine needles. And that's where you have a lot of still down south, a lot of people still use that as far as for putting into tear. It, it helps to reduce inflammation. It removes directly into the areas of the shoulder, the knees, things like that to reduce inflammation. Right. Remember, it's alkalizing. It's very highly alkalizing. <laughs> yep, Doc? Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Didn't they used to put turpentine on the chest, like for bronchial? Yep, yep, bronchial. Yep. yep. Also, women time. use women still use it today for breast cancer issues to move the lymphatic system. Absolutely. If for breast lumps, yep, a lot of women still use it for breast lumps. If they have a breast lump, and then remember the lymphatic system slowing down, so you got to move it out. So remember we had the whole class on the lymphatic massage. Mm -hmm. They massage, the lymphatic massage is with the turpentine oil. Yeah. So can you get it from the herb store from Polo? Yep, yeah, there you go. There's uh there's there you oh, go. There's okay. Karen right there. Yep. Okay. That's one of the one that's one of the best ones right there. That's the one I believe that's from Georgia. Is that the one from Georgia? Uh I know it is. Uh I know it is. It's the, it's the one that uh, you sh originally showed, and I just mm -hmm. duplicated what you yeah. did. So. Yep, yep, yep. Can you turn that around again, please. I missed the show that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all missed the good one there. Now, when that's they, the pure. Now, remember, the this is the pure. Shot. They call it they call it gum spirits because it is yeah. the right. purest form of the oil from that pine tree. But they do. They just basically boil it down and then they actually get the gum spirits so that's basically it's raw state that's the raw state and it goes right into those areas of those pads which is like the shoulders you know the bones the joints the ligaments and it actually allows it to push into the system you know alkalinity so it goes directly to the source so now watching the food you're eating no refined sugar refined salt refined oils but at the same time you're going into you know, put that on topical. It's almost immediate, man. I mean, how is it working for you, Karen? Um, I used it a few times, mm -hmm. uh, but then I went to the winter green uh, for my knees. But now that I'm listening to you, I'm going to go back to this for the <laughs> knees. So, you know, I'm all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a good son. Now, where did you get that from? Yeah, you know, you know they have they have it on Amazon. I just looked at it on Amazon. Yes, well, the you same get it from. I just put the link in. Oh, well, wait a minute! Okay, slow down, you. slow down, slow down. We get it from Pollock Herbs and Vitamin Center on okay. Broad Street. Okay, he's one of the only ones you can put your hands on it. Okay, because it's a very small company and they've been around for a long time. You know, and I think the date is the date on there. Like how long they were on that Carol? Do you see the date on there? Look at the date on there. They usually, and because they also make a turpentine soap, that's one of the best soaps in the world. You know, matter of fact, when you talk about a soap, you want a turpentine soap that'll get you squeaky clean. Oh, that's, that's what's up. <laughs> uh, no, I do not. I do not. See you can it. literally go like this. You can literally go like this, like that. I mean, it is clear to get you clean. That is some. That'll make you squeaky clean. So I, I would say give it a try. Page. It's good. That along with things like the comfrey, Dr. Christopher's comfrey, those are all good for the knees, inflammation. Yep, topicals. Okay. Would that, would that help with uh, uh, the back pain? Like my mom has uh, stenosis. I forgot the name of it, but stenosis of the back. Would well, help it can help. It can always help with pain, inflammation, as far as reducing pain, but you got to go to the root of the problem, what is causing the problem. You know, if there's fine misalignments, then there needs to be an adjustment. Probably there's a structural issue, you know, that so that person may need an adjustment. She may need an adjustment. So that's why she would need to be assessed by a chiropractor. OK. All right. Let's see here. All right. There, there was uh, the, one more up here before because mm -hmm. I don't want to forget this one. It had to do with. Uh, hold on. Here, here, hold on one second. Uh, before you want to seal you up on the very top up there. Okay, here, here we go. Uh, 
Uh, sister, a younger sister has just recovered from from uh, from COVID over six months ago, mm-hmm. has not regained her taste or smell. Doctors have no answers for her in, uh, in with their herbs. So, can you re- recommend something for that? Yeah, you, you know that's a that's a common symptom. Um, my question would be: uh, Does she have um, does did she have a vaccine vaccination? Did she have that also? Did she say COVID? Uh, she had. I'm sorry. You know, yeah, she did have a vaccination. This is Renee Kirby. I'm Renee. Okay, yeah. so she did have a vaccination. Yes. Okay, because that you know that's one of the signs also for you know the side effects is okay. that you lose uh, things like taste, things like that. It's a desensitized, desensitized taste buds, things like that. All we say on our side is detox. Right. So that's where we say clean the liver. You got to go back to cleaning the liver again. Okay. Uh, whenever that happens, clean the liver. That starts to move the toxins out. Starts to now um, also strict diet with all those foods. Get that mastering a healthy lifestyle on my website. It gives a breakdown of how right. you know the foods to stay away from, right. but also the waters to get. Uh, also, um, you know the different things that you know we got to understand. You know the worlds of medicine that we're dealing with. We're dealing with three worlds: allopathic, homeopathic, and naturopathic. naturopathic. So I break it down in this uh, in this book. So just you know, understand that when 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 you're doing these things, they're going to say we don't know what it is. We don't know what it. Well, on our side, we know what it is. You got to detox. You got mm-hmm. it. So you got to flush the system. Get the right water. You know, immediately that should be the first thing. You got to get the water right. Right. Okay. Okay. So Thank you, Dr. Paul. absolutely, no problem at all. No problem at all. It's my pleasure. All right. All right, let's see, Big B. I'm going to go up here. Up in the C- corner. Cecilia? Mm-hmm. Yes, huh? Hey, Cecilia. Cecilia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Cecilia, Augie, you got to get get un, unmute. <laughs> when, I said, Ce- when I said Cecilia, my, my phone said, Siri uh-huh. said, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought she was talking hey, already. You, talk, you talking to me, Dr. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Okay, hey, yeah, great. Um, I just had a question about um, extreme. Yeah, you're getting a lot of feedback. I'm getting a lot of feedback there on your. Yeah, bring it closer to you. Yeah, bring it closer to you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Go you're ahead. very, you're very far away, but I'm getting a buzzing, heavy buzzing noise. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yep, can't hear you. Can't hear you. <laughs> Is that that must be that must be your oven working over there? Is that your <laughs> oven over there? I don't have nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> That's your oven working. <laughs> I'll, I'll type it in the chat. She says she's yeah. Chill, she says yeah can you in. type it? Yeah, type it, type, it in. Type yeah. It. Okay. All right. Got you. Okay. One, one, one All right. More. We got we got uh we got two more and then we got to get ready to go, y'all. Okay. All right, Bonnie. Bonnie. Actually, three more. We got three more. Hi. Bonnie. Hi. How you doing, Doctor Paul? Um, hey, Bonnie. Hi. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have done that event of Origin of Nature back in August with you. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. But anyway, um, I wanted to ask you. I know I have read up on some things on your website in reference to. Uh, chakras. Okay, I know you just went over not too long ago reference to the map of the tongue or mm-hmm. uh, in relation to the tongue. So what is that versus working with your chakras versus mm-hmm. your tongue as far as the signals, signals that you will get through your body? Because I have experience in working the chakras, my seven chakras, mm-hmm. first all the way up to the, um, the top mm-hmm. of my head. Right. So you remember the chakras is your endocrine system just working. You're connected to the universe. That's it. So from the pineal, pituitary, hypothalamus, thyroid, parathyroid, all the way down to the adrenals, to the pan- to the pancreas, or the uh, pancreas, all the way down to the sex organs. The endocrine system spins. That's the wheels that spin. So that's what the chakras are doing. They're spinning. So that's a way of energy. Your 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 goal is to keep them clear, or we call mm-hmm. zero ohm. 
Make sure there's okay. zero ohm. If there's zero ohm, then that's why we take things like, you know, you ever see the bowls? Got the bowls. Yes, I have. You know, singing you got the bowls. bowls. Singing mm -hmm. bowls. You got uh, a lot of different things that line the chakras. But we also know that herbs line the chakras. Got it? Right. Mm -hmm. So the tongue is just an assessment of where you are. So if there's a problem in that area, you can see it in the tongue. That's okay. the key. That's the key. So really, one is a form of assessment versus one, which is trying to align you to that that perfect ohm, or we call that you know when you get into that zone mm -hmm. where all chakras are firing off. That's that's clean health. That's good health. Mm -hmm. That's when we say that you know that zone of where your body regenerates eleven times faster than you get sick. So that's the, that's the key. So they're two separate things, but they all work for the balance of the body. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and I'm lastly, I'm also I know that I have I work my fingers as well too. My fingertips are in line like with each chakra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We have hand assessment charts too that can show you what each hand represents. And uh, everybody, raise your hand up. Everybody, raise your hand up. You can raise your hand up. See like that. And take a look at your hand. You know, I was doing this with my assistant the other day, and we were looking at the hands, and he was saying, like, you know, it's always one that may be curving towards the others and things like that. Well, you can see which one is actually needing energy. So if you got one that's curving in a strange way and you didn't break it or nothing, you never sprained it or break it or anything like that, if it's curving in for some way, you know, it's trying to pull energy from the other ones. Same thing happens with your toes. It'll pull energy from where it needs it. So if you look at it and say, why my finger go like that? You know, that's usually because it's pulling energy from those sides. It's a little weak and may need some support. So sometimes you'll see them sort of curve in towards the middle finger. You know, like your ring finger may go in towards the, the center. Or it may, you know, sometimes the pinky or the index finger goes into different directions so that's all something that's all problems this is all part of what we call energy work yep energy work absolutely good stuff bonnie good stuff all right all right thank you for that call that was a good one Kev, is that kevin kevin yeah kevin's next kevin, kevin. kevin what's up buddy kevin bounced out and is kevin bounced out he, he must went, have went, he must have, he must have checked on his beans. Uh, he's around somewhere. I see his shadow. <laughs> Kevin, you there? there Kevin, <laughs> how them beans doing, man? <laughs> That's last week's food. <laughs> What's this up, Kevin? Week is trying to get some stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kevin? Beans uh, don't burn on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a question. Um, I've heard you mention red raspberry before, but is that a strictly a woman's herb? Absolutely not. It's for okay. everybody. Yep. You know, we you also that that's a cumulative that's used for attention deficit disorder. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need that. Yeah, I'm you know, or it. attention adult deficit disorder. Yeah, yes. absolutely. You know, when it's time for you to calm down and people have a problem calming down and keeping settled and they're they're racing all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good one. That's why we say that's a good bonding tea. You remember we talked about in the class the bonding teas? Yes. You know, when mm -hmm. you have, if you have a, a situation that's a little bit of rest where, you know, you always have a, a you know, and this happens, this is perfect tea for Thanksgiving. Because you know how sometimes when people get together, you know, sometimes arguments start, you know, mm -hmm. about stuff, you know, especially now. We got yes, lots to talk God. about with the COVID and Man, all that. Those it, who are for it, who's against it, you know, you know, uh -huh. and, you know, sibling rivalries, all that stuff going on. Well, we use the red raspberry as a bonding tea. It's an excellent tea, sort of like a piece, peace tea. It's like me, it's like a piece. Mm -hmm. Like say, you know, let's sit down and let's talk it over. Then you always bind, you know, start to start with a tea. And that's is what that you an any, do. Is that an anytime tea? Anytime tea okay. when you want to chill out. Yeah. What you making over there, man? Show me what you making, man. You look at <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what you doing, yeah, man. I'm not, I'm not he ain't going looking the, over there. Uh, I see that? you cutting uh, up chop, something. Chopping up, chopping up some red onions. All right. All right. All right. And All some celery right. for the uh, stuffing. Okay, now. Oh, I have another question. Um, okay. I was tested by the allergist. I'm not allergic to any foods, 
but I noticed that when I when I go from one end of eating Auntie Mama pancakes <laughs> to Trader Joe pancakes to almond flour pancakes, um, them high protein powder. I, 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 before I eat it, I have energy. I eat it, it knocks me out. I'm asleep for 45 minutes and then I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I, and I have to recuperate. So, I'm like, what so, is going on? It don't matter if it's. So, uh, man, now you just realize why they call flapjacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not touching that. I am not touching that. Girl. You know where I'm getting it going. I'm not going to touch that. I couldn't help myself, Bill. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and and and, and the pizza, anything, anything wheat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what it'll it's do, so man. Oh, that's, you just, know. that's just that's natural. But how come how come other people don't experience? It's like I I, I tell them that they look like look at me like I'm crazy. You know, it's 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 a comfort food. You know yeah. that. You yeah. know, it's a comfort well, I, food. I'm not that comfortable eating it. And not <laughs> I'm losing energy that I have to recuperate. That, that, that's not cool. <laughs> oh, goodness. He's crazy, oh, man. That's <laughs> I don't know, man. We might have to do an investigation, man. Yeah. Maybe we have to do a flapjack uh, panel. <laughs> oh, my. Got to figure out why Kevin's falling asleep. Kevin, Kevin, stay with us, Kevin. Stay with us. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. I'm going to look into that, but I know that there are some high protein, uh, you know, it, pancakes. It could be low protein. It, don't, it could be it non-GMO. It could be full of GMO. It could be homemade <laughs> almond flour, store bought almond flour. I'm falling asleep. Wow, man! I think it's something. It may be something connected to you know when you were young. It just made you fulfilled. Yeah. And it comforted, and you know, after you ate them, you probably always fell asleep. You know, I don't know. It could be. Oh, a okay, lot so, of stuff. All right. Somebody was saying it's it could a be comfort. The car. It could be the carbs. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it could be the carbs, of course. But, you know, I think it's more it makes you comfortable. It, it, it's, mm. it's, I mean, because you keep eating them. <laughs> so you well, I'm looking, for the, I'm, looking for the, I'm looking to enjoy it, but without falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's so the, that's the key. It's like I well, got you. Maybe All you right. got to stay away from it because it's not going. Nothing seemed to be working. Yeah, it's a heavy now. It is heavy now. When you have that in the morning, that's that's hard on your digestive system in the morning. You know, so that could be a problem right there. Also, okay, you know, when you so have flapjacks. Yeah, they they really. <laughs> you that's, know, that's, they, that's more they, like an evening. Even if you're gonna have it, it's exactly. better for the evening. Exactly. Okay. So you got to be careful. Well, not as a, in, in the evening, but just not, you know, a lot of people, if they eat heavy in the morning, they're going to get tired because now yeah. your body has to, you know, utilize Burn enzymes to break it up. Yeah. You got to break that down. That protein has to break down. So okay. it's, uh, it can be, it can be, uh, it's probably challenging you in some ways, you know, which is, which is, so would that be similar to eating meat in the morning as well? Uh, yep. Heavy stuff. Not as intense, not as intense, but uh, definitely meat would be. So, you know, don't put no sauces with them flapjacks. You know? Oh, yeah. Poor combination. Okay. <laughs> Poor combination. All right. Good All right, stuff, man. You. Good stuff, man. I hope the kitchen, yeah, don't, you, you're doing good over there, man. Look <laughs> like it's good. I, I got Getting my air good. fryer and everything else. I got All a right. new air fryer, so All I right. I start doing right, you know. All right. Okay, Kevin, thank, thank you, man. You, thank you for letting us like slide into your kitchen. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get... Uh, you got Sharon. Last one, Sharon. Sharon, how you doing? Sharon? Hi. How you doing? Can you hear? I'm doing good. How are you? All good, right. good. Okay, good. You can hear me. I wanted to ask you a question. I used to take a green drink before, and I noticed that um, whenever I drink green drinks, I get like, um, uh, I don't know if it's, it's a reaction with my medicine or not, but I get real jumpy. Like I drank a cup of coffee. Is it something? <laughs> something no. In, no, but I tried no to caffeine. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, no, no, not caffeine, but is it something that acts like, you know, that can act like that? Because every well, time I do green drinks. Right. Well, remember, green drinks is the highest hydrogen on yes. the planet, land yes. and sea. So that's why when you take a green drink, you're getting the greatest and the, the strongest source of energy on, in the universe. 
it's in those and that's why we try to get it from places where we come from which means closer to the equator where uh the the sun is the hottest so that's why this green drink that i have is actually i don't know if you're taking my green drink or maybe another green drink no but, it was another one and i'm yeah i'm going to order it but i want to make yeah. sure it i would something with i would say this now i know with mine i i always take in mind see sometimes the reason i started my green drink was because it was racing also so let me pull back on that because that may be something that you find see they will always mix too many fruits with vegetables and that causes a problem so look at that brand that you're you're talking about okay and you try to or your because your system may be very hypersensitive to things that are you know the combination too much fruits in there could be too much fruit at one time i used to have the same problem i used to have you know and i said you know what this stuff is sort of like when you know fruit stimulates vegetable stabilize so i felt like i was kind of like dancing back and forth like slowing down speeding up <laughs> slowing down mm -hmm. speeding up i'm like well how you feel i don't know i don't right. know what's going on <laughs> yeah you know so that was the whole com combination when I started to break down the uh, food combinations, I said, you know what? This is the problem. The problem is you're mixing too much fruit with vegetables. And you'll yes, see a yes. lot of those brands in there. They'll do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, I would watch out for any green drinks that have things like lactose bacillus. And I'm going to tell you, I know it's a probiotic, but guess what? It causes a lot of people irritable bowel issues. They're having digestive issues. Because, you know, here we are trying to, you got all of this green hydrogen which is your prebiotic, and then you're taking a probiotic, which is something that's been destroyed or torn down from the mammary glands of a cow or some kind of of, of some kind of, 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 of carcinogenic, which is actually, you know, fermentation. So I say look at those ingredients and make sure it's not too much fruits and vegetables, okay? Can I ask you one more question? Mm-hmm. Okay, when you're on medication and you want to do the liver detox, will that affect your medication at all? Like, um, I'm on blood pressure medicine, and I wanted to detox, but I don't, I didn't want to cause. Right. right. Well, well, re usually uh, we say get an assessment first to see okay. what's going on with you. From there, we move scheduled. forward. You never okay. want to take them at the same time. Never take medication and herbs at the same time. Yeah, never do that. Okay. So what All you right. always want to do, get an assessment. Remember, though, remember, it's not, our, it's not our side, which is the food. Remember, everything we're doing is food. It's mm -hmm. the pharmaceuticals that actually are causing the side effects with those. So the liver is the power source. That's your power nuclear reactor. So wherever mm -hmm. this, there's the liver, that's going to be power energy. That's going to be whenever you clean the body. This does about 3,000 different things for the body. Enzymes, breaks down stuff, keeps the, the cholesterol right. You know, it's, it's doing so many things. So whenever the liver is out of balance, your brain is out of balance because the brain is connected directly to the liver. It's called laws of complementary pairs, which means that you're hooked up directly from your liver to your brain. So when you yeah. clean the liver, you clean your brain. Wow. That's it. That's when you get it real sharp. You start getting sharp. If you are cloudy and say, I can't focus, can't remember nothing, big mm -hmm. can't remember nothing. Yeah, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. Don't know what it is. I came in this room. I don't know what I came in here for. Walked all the way upstairs and said, what did I come up here for? <laughs> go right back downstairs and said, now nah, I remember. Got to go back upstairs again. So again. all this stuff is happening. You know, memory has a lot to do with liver. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Do you recommend someone um, detox their after COVID or going through COVID or? Oh, absolutely. Right. You, you got it. You got it. You through it or after. You got to do it the whole time while yeah. you're going through it. Yeah, that's the whole and, process. And specifically the liver or both the liver and the bowel. Well, remember, you're doing when you do the liver, you're cleaning out everything because that's yeah. digestion. Also, yeah. you remember, yeah. liver is digestion. That's the. You know, the enzymes for digestion, but also the bile, you know, the, is making that's what the liver and the bile and the gallbladder are working together to make the bile. So it's a, it's a combination. It's a systemic effect. Nothing works by itself. Yeah. So when you that's start right. to do that, you're starting to get everything in motion. Got it? Yep. So that's why blood cleanser, clean the blood, clean yes, the yes, blood, yes, yes, clean yes, the yes. blood. Yep. Yes. And all those detox 
uh, those top uh, 90 plus uh, toxic, uh, what we say, uh, blood cleansers that I yes, post yes. on my website. All right. Exactly. All right, Dr. All right, Paul, before we get out of here, here's Celia's uh, question. And she typed in, mm-hmm. said, what, what can you do for Raynards? I saw Dr. Ethel, and she gave me Dr. Christopher's cayenne cream for, right. for her feet. But I can't put it on my hands because I might rub my eyes. <laughs> Would a chiropractor help with that? Well, yeah, you can you can do it. Um, you can deal with, with a chiropractor with a lot of different things. Are you saying and and the, are you saying Raynard's the the actual that's like a phenomenon they they call it a phenomenon syndrome is that what you're talking about Cecilia? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So that's basically like numbness in your uh in your body like in, it's it's like it's cutting a flow of oxygen in like the fingertips and things like that is that what you're saying? Yes. It's really cold hands and feet. Right, right. So that's why you got to look for things like neuropathy, you know, in case increased cancer, six cases of neuropathy. So we actually not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent disease, just food for the soul. We go for those herbs that are we are uh, that are circulatory herbs. Those are the, the the horse chestnut, which is room. Those things that we talked about before. I don't know. We did a whole thing on circulation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's the one. Yeah. Those are the two that that have the most effects. Got it. So circulation. You got to think about uh, MSM. You know, those are things that come to mind. Uh, whenever you see in circulation, also coral calcium. Coral calcium. Okay. You got to break those areas and, and reduce inflammation in those in those areas of the hands and feet. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, but definitely that's blood flow. So that means also I would do a lot of stretching. Okay, a lot of stretching, a lot of walking, exercise. How's your exercise? Not good. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you got to get it moving, right? You got to get it moving. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, Cecilia. Good questions, though. Good questions. Hey, I got a buddy on here I just met today. His name is Derek Johnson Bullard. Derek, what's up, buddy? I asked him to check in with us. He's AKA the Sea Moss Man. Look out, <laughs> look out, DJ the Sea Moss Man. The Sea Moss Man. I, I, What's I up, buddy? With, I got it with me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. He got the Sea Moss. He got yeah. it all over, Bill. Look at him. Look at, I can't, he got I can't a grown one here. all on his couch, man. He got it everywhere. <laughs> nah, it's, it's here. I got all of it with me. You see? Yes. <laughs> Derek, tell them everybody who you are and what you're doing, brother. You know, I met you today, but we've been talking for, oh, man, we're about about six months now, it's back and forth. Well, longer than that. <laughs> yeah, probably longer than that. And we never got the chance to hook up, but we right. talk on the phone yeah. all the time. So he's got the purple sea moss. And I got, he's the, got gr- the, the, the green. green. Chlorophyll, yeah. you know. Okay. Uh, Derek, right. make sure you type all your info in the chat so the folk can have it when, yeah, uh, so, when so, they can get a copy of it tonight. Okay. Yeah, okay. So make sure you uh, tell everybody how they can get a hold of you, man. And I wanted to always, you know, I say if anybody's doing anything good, you know, specifically the CMOS, man, and you get it direct, directly from St. Lucia. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I thank you, brother, for, you know, chiming in. I asked you to come on in and just to share his uh his uh his 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 find because i tell you brother you got some good stuff man you know i was looking at that so you know tell everybody how they can get a hold of you and if they want to purchase some of the sea moss well um you can you can actually contact me directly um I, i'm gonna put my number and everything mm-hmm. on here yeah um well here's one of my posters for my for my juices that i sell in the vegan restaurants mm-hmm. you know i sell natural juices also okay and, um, like i said and- no, I sell the, the gel already made, and I ship all over. So okay. So what is your? Do you have a website that they can go to to um, order? I'm I'm actually building my website now. Would have had it a long okay. time ago, but I'm working on it now. But you can um you can contact me directly if you have Instagram. You can go on my Instagram. Okay. And um because um give I'm, me your number first, Derek. All right, my number is uh four one zero seven three nine. Five seven six two. I'm in Philadelphia, though. Know. It's mm-hmm. a Maryland, it's a Maryland number, but I'm in Philadelphia. Okay, give me that number one more time. Uh, four one zero. Mm-hmm. Seven three nine. Mm-hmm. Five seven six two. Okay, and that's Derek Johnson Bullard. Yeah, aka aka the Seamoss Man. Seamoss Man. Seamoss Man. All you gotta do is, is text me. <laughs> 
and tell me, you know, you're looking for some sea moss and we go from there. Man, I love this family tree, man. You know, you can find everything around the tree. How about that? Oh, thank you, Derek. I appreciate you, brother. It was a pleasure finally meeting you today. And I'm thank you so much for chiming in, man. And we're going to support you in everything you do. All right? I appreciate you. All right, man. All right. Yes, sir, buddy. All right. I got... Uh, Hello? I, yes. Who is that? Uh, I have the 8057. Yep. Yeah, this is Miss T. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for taking my call, Dr. Paul. And I apologize for chiming in. I couldn't figure out because I dialed in how to ask to, you know, raise your hand or what That's have okay. you. That's okay. Right. That's okay. That's okay. I'll try to. I'll try to be really quick. And this is in regards to the vaccination. Those of us who have been practicing holistic health like forever and are um, do not want to um, comply with the mandate for the vaccination, does it make any sense to also take the testing? On a regular basis, considering that the swab has some sort of substance on it. Yeah, that's why we do the what's called, if you have any choices, you want to ask for, always ask for what's called saliva direct. Saliva direct is where you give them something. If you still have a concern with that, you know, it's it's all, this is all based on policy right now. See, every job has their own policy. Government has their policy. Everybody has policy. No laws, just policy. But remember, policy does not over Trump or Trump over yes. your constitutional right. You got me? There is no law that says you have to have this. You have the right for autonomy. So that's why all these pushback is happening with these states now. Because now they're saying, well, wait a minute. Did you sign something, Biden? You know, you know, <laughs> you didn't sign anything. You're just kind of like saying it. And people are just doing it. But really, there's no constitutional um, backing for that because it's not a law. It's not even a bill, you know, so this is where people are getting the pushback. So we are telling you, if you if you choose to, you have a right to have what's called religious exemption. That means you determine that I don't want this in my body mm -hmm. and you take a religious stand. And that means that you declare your position. That's what you have to do. You can't just do nothing. If you don't, yes. if you don't do anything, yep, you're going to lose your job. Yep. You know, Without or you, Paul, yep. What if your church um, does not? Guess refuses to do the uh, no no the no 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 you don't need that see that's the that's the policy of those institutions getting you into a conversation that is not for your constitutional right you can't do that you don't need a church or a pastor or anybody it's your oh. body your temple and then they will try to pull you in that direction but that's when you drop the letter that will stop you from presenting a letter no nah, don't do that you present the letter. With Which your like religious a statement, it's a, okay. it's a declaration. It's a de mm -hmm. declaration. And I did give out the websites for those two websites that I gave out. It was one is called Vaccination Liberation. I tried that and I couldn't. It no. was difficult for me to try to get the. Uh... No, no, no. Let me tell you how okay. to do it. OK, All right. when you go to the V-A-C-L-I-B dot O-R-G, mm -hmm. you go to when the front page, you got to go under legal. Okay, okay, on the legal, it goes state by state, so it keeps right. it up to date. So anything that's anybody listening right now, no matter where you are, it's state by state tells you, and they keep it up to date. These are the laws pending in your state, and what you have to do, and the policy. So if you have a, if you're military, if you're a daycare, if the school, if it's universities, college, you know, wherever and whatever you're doing, they have a form for you but here's the key here's the key you just have to declare your position and say due to i i am opting out due to strong religious conviction that's it okay that's and it that's all you have and to provide can, and that's it that's no, it. No, no, no you, extra can, explanation. you can you can drop some scriptures on them you know because they got some scriptures in there you know say they, we don't defile the temple you break the skin you increase the chances of infection you got all this stuff you know, and it is against your constitutional right because it's not a law. So they have to abide by this. Remember, because what has not come down yet, what has not come down, and they the sort of lawyers sitting back, kind of, you know, scraping their hands together, getting ready, is that when you have, like the sister just said, some people are getting tested, and you know, and they say, okay, well, I took a religious exam, but I'm getting tested, and the other person who had the vaccine, they're still not, you know, they're not getting tested. Well, wait a minute. If the person that is getting tested has to do that every week, 
and the, and the other person who has the vaccine did not get tested, and when they told you that the person that even gets it is transmissible, then that's the definition of discrimination right there. Mm. You got it? That's the definition of discrimination. You can't do that. Can you please repeat that, Dr. Paul? Say that one more time. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Queen, Queen, what you have to do is this. <laughs> Queen, listen. listen okay, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to say it one more time. Okay. If two people are getting, you know, work at the same job, one got the, the vax or the jab and the other one didn't, got it? The one that did not, who took religious exemption, they're saying, well, our policy is that you got to get tested every week. Okay. You're getting tested every week, but the person over here who has the jab doesn't get tested. And then the CDC said that those people are just as transmissible as the people who got who didn't get it. You got it? So what does that say? That says that you are literally discriminating against people right in your business, in your practice. You got it? And the people who are actually, um, here's where, 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 where it's going to hit the fan. It's going to hit the fan because those that can be, you know, sued are those, though the ones that cannot be sued are the pharmaceutical companies, not the businesses that put their policies out there. Right. So they're going to get their behind suit off in about two seconds because people are going to start waking up. That's why the lawsuits are flying right now. They're flying like crazy. They have to pull back. They whoa, 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 we would pull back on this because that's why when all that pushback from down south came up and these states down there were like, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's policy. Policy does not trump over your constitutional right. Remember that. You got it? Um, Dr. Paul, if, if President um, Biden, if, if, his, if the federal, if it didn't make past the federal and it was denied, why is the city of Philadelphia and the state of Pennsylvania you still allowing corporate office and local you government to do this mandate? Well, they're and, using the, they're using it a mandate because they're looking at it as a policy. They didn't say you okay. couldn't still okay. opt out. They didn't say you couldn't opt out. The, the truth of the matter comes down to the testing. Remember, you know, if you're going to be, you know, you can ask them if the testing say, hey, I don't like the testing because I don't like the swabbing. They have deep nasal and then they have small nasal right in the nostril. They have nostril swabbing and then they have what's called the, uh, you know, one where you give saliva it's called saliva direct we covered that here about two weeks ago so saliva direct was the one that actually came out of uh i think it was harvard or one of them came up with that one so you can ask them hey you know i will give you a saliva direct and i'll pay for it you may have to come out of your pocket will you accept it that's it got it right but they're requiring you to get tested if even if you have an exemption whether it's medical yeah that's the point that's the point you're right that's the point i'm making that's what I'm okay. saying. That the point I'm making is that that's against your, that's still, that does not, you know, that's a form of discrimination because the person that yeah. has it, you know, got the vac, are now not getting tested. And you're getting tested. So that's a problem. You know, that's, right. the, that's, the, that's the definition. If you look up the definition of discrimination, you are right there. That's it. So that's what has not hit the fan yet. And you're going to see more and more of that happen. It's happening down mm-hmm. south, though. I'm going to tell you all. It's yep. happening down south. People are waking up and people are pushing back and saying, look, I'm not doing this. You know, so just stay awake. And like I said, go to the websites I gave you. And uh, you can go to also. There was another one we gave out. Uh, healthy. Big D, American. Big D, healthy American. Right? Healthy Not, American. Yeah. Healthyamerican.org. That was a good one. So either one, get informed, okay? So you have your constitutional well, right. Dr. Mm-hmm. Paul, what, what is the one? This is Earl from Delaware. How you doing, brother? Hey, Earl. How you doing, buddy? I'm still hanging in there with you, brother. All right, yes, sir. man. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> I, I, like, I, like, I like it when you praise the Lord over the, uh, with the apostles, man. That, that gives me the wellies, brother. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. I hear you, but brother. I, I wanted yes. to ask you I wanted to ask you that website V I C L I something you said. L I B is in boy. V A C L I B. Right. That Stands old. for V A C. V A C L I B dot org. Yeah, V is in Victor. A. C is in Charles. L as in Larry. I B is in boy dot O R G. Yep. Oh, man, thanks a lot. 
Yeah. And yeah. another thing, I did, I did file for religious exemption, and they denied me. But I'm not discouraged. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew, I know, I know it was going to happen, so I put it in anyway. But yeah, make sure, make me, sure you tighten up the letter. Make sure you tighten yes. it up because sometimes uh, they'll, you know, what they're doing. See, this is a perfect example, man. You know, it's it's not. This is something that's they're pushing something that can cause a when people start to get wind of what's going on, and that they're oh, being yeah. violated. It's going to be it's like a it's going to be like a wave of people, yeah. and it's happening already down south in certain places. That's why the pushback is coming, and then they calm it down. They say, "Oh, we will leave that one alone. Quiet it now, you know," and mm-hmm. it's quieting down a little bit. But people are having those issues. All right, so stay strong, my brother. You know, I would re, I, I would re, I would go over that, and re, uh, and look at your letter. I would re, look at that again. Look at that again. Okay. Yo, there, there's a copy Which, of the letter. Mm-hmm. You mean the, the le- letter they sent me? The no, letter the letter that you, or? the one you're supposed to give them. Okay, you have to declare your position by giving them something first. Then they give you their right. letter. Yeah, but well, you got to put something on a- file. Yeah. Yeah, they gave me an application form. It was their form, and it had re, uh, religious accommodation. And then yeah. they had a question. They have, they have a questionnaire. It's like ten questions. Yeah, but see, and this then, is what I would have yeah, did. That, this is what I would have did. See, that's pulling the conversation into their direction, uh-huh. and that goes uh-huh. against. Remember, that goes against constitutional rights. So you can't, you can't let them pull you in the conversation. They're saying we're terming this based on where we're pulling you in. That's why you declare your position. You drop the letter on them first. Yes, that's the yes, first yes. thing you do. You declare your position. You know what I'm saying? See, you're getting into a conversation that's taking you away from the real truth of the matter. Mm-hmm. And that's what they'll I do. It's, it's the bait and switch thing. It's yes, the bait and switch thing. I see. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't see. pull you this way. Yeah. And then that's why we let you go, because you said this. But yeah. that's not really standing for what you're really eligible for, which is your constitutional right. You got it? So you got to stand right. on that. So write down, I would reissue that letter. I would reissue it, but with your documentation. Got it? That's why you present them with something. Declare okay. your position. Y'all you put a, <clears throat> Dr. Yeah. Hall, y'all put a sample of that uh, letter <clears throat> in the chat. So if they want to take yeah. a look at it, it's all yeah. right there. Yep, yeah. it's a ton of them out there, man. I mean, yeah. there, there are a ton of them out there. Yep. So you can you can go there, and I would say back it up with uh, religious with uh, scriptures from whatever yep. you're, you know. You know, you can't declare somebody else's religion, man. I mean, and nor can a pastor say that for you. Because yep. what happens if... You know, for whatever reason, you can't go to church or the church has closed down yep. or the fact that, you know, you might have moved to another city or another state doesn't mean that you dropped the religion because I moved. <laughs> I mean, this is stupid. Yeah. It's real stupid, man. The conversations that I saw, the I saw the questions on there mm-hmm. and it really are, you know, it's. Are you really? Yep. How, how long you been a part of this religion? Uh, how you been there? You know, do you go every Sunday? You know, all the stuff that has nothing to do with what's really the question. So well, keep in hey, mind. Dr. Paul, Dr. Paul, let me say this before you leave. Now, there were some people that they approved, and guess what happened? They told them they, they can't work and they can't get another job on the side. And they're going to drop their insurance. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Where are you, is it, if I may it, ask, it, are you for, are you for like a, a major, like an airline or something? Where do you work for? No, I'm with the railroad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm with the railroad. And, and they told these people that, and these people got family. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and not only that, they only have a short period of time. Like, say, they got five years service. Yeah. But anyway, they told them that you you you've been approved for religious exemption, but you can't work, mm. and we're going to drop your insurance. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. Take all your so, benefits. Take, yes. take all your benefits away. But I would they say. Denied me. Yeah, but this is the thing. See, the whole thing that starts the the ball rolling. Declare your position first. You got to stay where yeah. the conversation begins. Begins with you, not them. The yeah, conversation right. begins with you. So it's still okay. not too late, bro. You can still present that document. Present that document says, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. I answered your questions. Mm-hmm. Now here's mine. <laughs> here's mine right yeah. here. 
All right. So you got to uh, it's yeah. it's 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 you know what's going on, family. You know, if you sure. have the right if that's your choice, you have the right to choose. Got it. Yeah. So all right, family. Excuse Thank me. you, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, you guys hang up. I do have a question mm-hmm. on that and since you're on that topic. And and if, if if someone was to use the scripture about defiling the temple and they see you on a smoke break, can they hold that against you? No, not at all. Not at all. It still has nothing. A smoke break ain't sticking a needle in your arm. <laughs> no, I'm just saying defiling the temple. So you no. smoke. I mean, I'm just. Yeah, so they no. can't say, well, no, if you no, want to defile the temple. That's why the declaration tells it all. It doesn't say in your declaration about smoking. It says defiling my temple by putting something in your bloodstream got it that's directly going into you know system you got it that's why it's important to declare your position go to that website family get informed so it'll give you all of the understanding Mm -hmm. that you're asking and you got to look at those websites and then read up on the states that are under yours you know and each one you know, Pennsylvania has one. Pennsylvania has one of the, the, the top ones. You remember when they did that? You know, that's a that's a that's a that's a human rights issue. You know, you have a right to determine what goes in your body. So when it becomes a supreme law, a supreme from the Supreme Court, then every state has to now include it in their legislation all over the United States. Got it? They have to impose this into their legislation. And Philadelphia and Pennsylvania has one. So they have to assimilate that into their into the system. So mm-hmm. read up on that. Go by state, okay? Go to the states. Dr. Right, Paul, can I give you can I give you a suge- a suggestion? Not now or whenever you get a chance, maybe Saturday or Sunday or whenever after the holiday, if you can um share with the viewers and your followers three things. One, why do people associate this vaccination to immunization? when you were a child, and two, why do vaccinated people swear that they can get, be unmasked and feel that unvaccinated people are going to give them COVID? And three, um, what exactly is on these Q-tips that they doing both, either the yeah, su- but see, saliva everything, direct see, or listen, up in your nostril? But see, here's the problem. Everything you just mentioned is speculative. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why. Right. That's the problem. That's okay. why we can't get into we can't get into speculating. Nor do you okay. want to give that conversation any energy at all. You don't want to give okay. that stuff. Just keep moving forward, y'all. You understand that the everything is for you is already laid out for you. Yes. They're trying yes. to take yes. these things from you, but you already have these things afforded to you, but you gotta stand up and say something. You got it? That's the whole point. So that's why, you you know, these conversations, when they get into that, it becomes speculative, you know, and then you get into speculative debates. And then now you're pulling into going in that direction where those rabbit holes go too deep. Yes. And then now yes. you start looking like, OK, that was speculative. Don't be speculative with it. You just know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. Exactly. Keep it clean. Oh, Keep it clean. That's, that's it. Right. That's right. You know, God is on your side. You Thank gotta, you. You got to understand have, God is on your side. I have a quick question, please. Yes, okay. Uh, Rosanna? Thank you. Uh, the natural green balance that you, you talked about. Mm-hmm. I live in Delaware, but I had someone to purchase that today. And I think they did it at um, a place called African Culture Store on 52nd and Locust. Mm-hmm. ACAF, right. I, all right. When I start doing it, do I do it for two Two weeks and off two weeks and then take it three times a day? No, no, that's the green drink. You're talking about the green drink or what? You're saying the green drink, nat- right? Natural green balance. How do I take right. it? It's just a, it's just a green drink. It's okay. food. So you're just taking three teaspoon scoops in 12 ounces of your favorite juice or water. It that's it. Three teaspoons in eight ounces on this thing. Yeah, eight or 12. It doesn't matter. That's oh. what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm giving you and I'm telling you it's 12. Uh-huh. All right. So even if it's eight on there, it's, it's actually we've upgraded to 12. OK, so it's not it's not something that can is food. It's just like, remember, it it's the best you. of the land and the best of the ocean. Yes. Got it. So it's the highest force of nutrients that you can get from those two sources. Right. So whenever you it's also a meal replacement, it's a meal replacement. Great. So when you take it, you know, it's something that helps to get the gut in order before you eat. Yes. 
It also is good for blood pressure. It keeps the blood pressure balanced. It also deals with inflammation. So if you've got pain, all those things, usually we're malnutrition. We're seriously malnutrition, y'all. Everybody's malnutrition. That's the biggest problem. So that's why we need a good green drink. All mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Rosetta. Good hearing from you. Good seeing you, Rosetta. <laughs> Tell the church I said, hey. Of course, I've been listening. I've been listening. Yeah, okay. I know. Have, have my eyes on you, Rosetta. That's, all right, all right. And then, that's a, Big that's a, I just, we get I, everybody? I, I, I think we got everybody. I have my eyes on you. you know, up, up there in the corner with your hand up in the air. I see you. Yeah, yeah. Did we get Dirk? Is that Dirk? I'll take Dirk, last one. Dirk, I think you were the last one. Is that yeah. Dirk? Did he get called on? I, I don't think know. Was... Dirk, you still there? Dirk Richards? Yeah, I'm still there? here. I'm still here. I'm Go still ahead. here. Okay. Uh, great. I, I have a little question about that class of uh, antioxidants called lignans. Are they good for diabetes? Okay. What are you saying? I, they're in seeds Ligma and evergreen trees. L i g n a n s. Ligands. L i g n a n s. Lignans. Lignans. Is this yeah. something that uh, this is something that you're taking right now? Well, I'm looking at a product which has that. Um, they get that from one of those evergreen trees. I think like the Norwegian spruce. And mm -hmm. I said, read take up it, something take a where they oil. said that um, they're in flax seeds and mm -hmm. some of those yeah. seeds. Yeah, I mean, long as it's not, no, long as it's not modified. That's your questions. You always want to yeah. ask the questions. You know, pure yeah. source. You know, where are they coming from? You know, our question right now it's, for anything is where is it coming from? got it is that good for diabetes it's good for is is well if you're talking about the same one we're talking about that i usually talk about this is a, it's actually uh part of that tree it's actually a part of a tree i can't think of the tree right this second but it's a tree that basically deals with any of those trees that have high polyphenols which is antioxidant antioxidants right. are good for the pancreas right. that's it so, mm -hmm. yeah so, so mm. those evergreen trees, spruce. Yep, the evergreen. That's right. That's right. See, anything that's see, it's never. See, we don't. Uh, the difference between the sciences of allopathy versus naturopathy is that allopathy separate, isolates, divides, analyzes. Got it. We don't do that. Our culture uh -huh. and people of naturopaths, okay. we, we, we don't. We keep everything together, spirit, okay. mind, and body, and then not only that, uh -huh. but we observe. That's the key. I get you. I you got it. You. We observe. Look at nature. Go with the body. Don't go against the body. Go with there it. You go. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, all okay, right. thanks. Thanks. That's, that's great. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. All right, Dr. Joe, Paul, we got to you, go. How we do I get in touch with you to do a one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, that would be my number. You can call me for an assessment. 1-877-377-2800. Twenty-eight fifty-four. That's my one-on-one -on -one assessment. Now, if you can't, if you book appointment and it is, if it's way in advance, later down the line, you can always do a one-on-one -on -one consultation. I do one-on-one -on -one consultations every morning with folks on calls. You know, we break down whatever's going on. So if you don't see me right away, one-on-one -on -one for RM3A, uh, we do one-on-one -on -one consultations. So we'll speak to you right through. You know, we'll go over whatever's going on and we can get a sort of understanding of what's going on and, and put you on the right path just with a consultation also. Got it? Okay. All right. All right. Thank so one, you. All right. Thank all right. you. All I right. appreciate y'all. All, right. all right, Big B. It's Yo, time to wind it on down. I told Big B I can't do it long today. <laughs> wrong wrong and then answer. look at it and it's not wrong, 30, wrong man. Answer. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all See, right. See, but hey, I think everyone, this was a great yes, uh, yes. breakdown today. We had some good questions, good concerns. Uh, you know, we can. It's good that we can be with the family. We can get. You know, we can laugh and joke, but at the same time, we can get definitely serious. And, you know, because we are in serious times, but also we can. We got to learn to be lighthearted about the the compassion factor for our people. Got it. So yes. be compassionate with each other. During this Thanksgiving holiday, be you know open. You know, if anybody Praise going in, don't don't start no fight now. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> don't set nobody, but don't sit there and get punched <laughs> either. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
Uh, don't get punched. Don't start no fight, but don't sit there and get punched either. Got it? Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, Big yes. B, tell everybody, <laughs> tell everybody how they can support us and continue okay. that we can do this thing called the family tree. How you about got that? that. Very, the very first thing I want to say to you guys, if you want a copy of the chart of the tone, make sure you put that <laughs> also <laughs> and, and, and your request when you send your email out for tonight's chat okay i want to make that separate because sometimes you know people get confused but we want to make sure that when you send in your request for your chat put on there as well also copy of the chart of the tongue chart all right now mm -hmm. to continue to support us right here guys just do do what we always do send the uh, support us by sending using dr paul's cash app which is dollar sign dr mm -hmm. paul hop that's dollar sign dr paul hop or if you're using your bank send it through zelle Send it to mechavideo at comcast.net. That's the ID, mechavideo at comcast.net. Or I've got a post office box. Send it to Bill Morgan. That's P.O. Box 191, Mullica Hill, New Jersey, 08062. Hey, guys, that's where it's at. Make sure you get it and bring and keep bringing folk to the family tree, guys, because that's where it's at. It's going to yeah. work. Go yep. keep working, y'all. Yeah. Yep, yep. And like I said, whatever you decide to do, we want to make sure that we have. What was cash? The cash Oh, okay. It, it's there, but I'll, I'll put it in there. Here we go. I'll put it, put it down one more time. <laughs> all right, all right, family. I want to say it's been a pleasure. There it is right there. All there right, there, there they there. are. There they are. There we go. That's everybody. All uh, right. All right. Give yourselves a hand for coming out tonight and for chiming in. Great questions. I hope you got a lot of good stuff written down. I have to say only one thing. I only charge you one thing. I'm going to charge you with the truth. So you got to go share it with somebody. That's go right, tell somebody. That's right. Give it to somebody. You might enlighten somebody you know. Those you do not know. Somebody you didn't even meet yet. You never know how you can change somebody's life with the information you got tonight. So what you learn today, you can use today. How about that? All right. Love y'all. We got to get on out of here. That's Happy right. Thanksgiving to everybody. All right, don't let your bees burn. Wow. <laughs> and keep that and keep that snort out of your out, out of your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Big B a big old hand over there. Big B, thank yeah, you yeah, so yeah, much, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big B. Love you. Big everybody. B. Right. Keep healthy. Keep healthy. That's healthy. right. All right, All right B. B. And maybe right. if y'all good next week, maybe Bill will show you his socks again. All well, right, y'all. We about to get on out of here. <laughs> Hey. All right. All right, guys. I want to say it's been a pleasure. God bless y'all. May God keep you. And remember, if you're breathing, you got, got, got a shot. shot. You God, go. God That's bless right. y'all. Right. Hey, thank you, guys. Uh, everybody. And, and start, start looking for your checks tomorrow, guys. I'm going to push it so we can get, out the, get the video share, out. Share the website, y'all. Y'all got the first dibs. Shop. Dr. Paul Herbs with a S dot com. There All you right. go. There you go. And Happy we will Thanksgiving. Have, we will have some good times next week. We'll see you next week. And That's remember, right. uh, be safe out here and have a wonderful and marvelous Thanksgiving and celebrate yes. with your family. All right. God bless y'all. And we'll see you later. Hey, hey, Come on. Y'all can jam it out. Y'all hey, hey, do hey, your hey. own thing. Everybody hey, do a freestyle. Hey, right. Freestyle, hey, hey. do whatever you want to do. I keep telling you, I learned from Margaret. Go, Margaret. Hey. Go ahead, Margaret. Margaret hey. got something new on you, Bill. Y'all forget to do the breathing. <laughs> yeah. You do See, breathing. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Marcy. Hey. Bring it in. Then breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Tap, 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 tap the head. Cause Marcy said tap your head. Tap your head. <laughs> tap your head, tap your head. Tap your head, tap your head. Go to the temples, come on down. Good to have you, Derek. Good, good. Keep coming back, Derek. Keep coming back, Derek. Yeah, come on down. Tap out, tap it out the arms. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Get to the joints. Slap those joints. Get the rest moving. Other side. Yeah, you got the other side. That's your right side, your other left. Yep, yeah, that's right. Slap that, slap that. All right, good, good. Try to do a little twist now. I want to see some twisting going on. There you go. Do some twisting. There you go. All right, all right. Y'all looking good. All right, we got 100% participation in here, Big B. That's it, buddy. That's what's up. <laughs>
Next right. Wednesday, next All Wednesday, right. Derek, is when the next Zoom meeting is. The next <laughs> class. All right. Every All Wednesday. Right. Every Wednesday. Last thing, let's get some energy. Get that hands together. Come on, rub them together, rub them together, rub them together. Get that energy. You're going to give yourself, before you leave, you're going to get an energy bath. Take that, rub it together. <laughs> And rub it all over. But don't touch yourself. Don't touch yourself. I know you're tempted. Don't touch yourself. Just rub it all over and you wipe it on down. That's called the energy bath. One more time. Yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Rub them together. Rub them together. Wipe it on down. Left, right. Bring it on down. All right. God bless y'all. May God keep y'all. And we'll see you next week on the Family.